Bye. 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 No. What's happening with you? Like with me in my personal life? Nobody <laughs> wants to know that. Oh, I think of Hafiz. Why Hafiz? Why Hafiz? Hafiz birthday? Don't need to ask me. I always think of Hafiz. Oh, yeah. uh... <laughs> Hafiz. Hafiz. We follow Hafiz diet for three days. I know. We are fasting with him. Mm. It's a month long, and it will end. In a month? In a month? I think it's a holy month for them, right? Mm. So it's about I guess, realigning, right? Yes! Realigning with their... Yeah. The faith. Their faith, yes, correct. Oh, okay. Okay, so today we have a very special guest. Peace uh, be upon you. <laughs> Morning, my brother and sisters. So for this episode of 72 Hours Challenge, you'll be following Hafiz's Ramadan diet. I don't know if you all know the basics, but what we do is we, we wake up early in the morning, about maybe five, and then we eat, and then there's a stop time. So the stop time is it's about 5.30 until about 7, 10 p.m. So throughout the whole day, uh, no eating, no drinking. We are encouraged to to be more aligned with our faith and like uh, do your best to avoid like doing bad things. Lah. See, like, if you're really thirsty, you cannot take it, right? I won't be surprised if that happens to any of you. Mm. Yeah, so for me, it also took time. Like when we were younger, I only did it for like half a day first. For me, it's definitely the not drinking fluids because I need coffee to like start my entire system and water in the morning. I think I it's waking up before okay. sunrise. There's no point like drinking coffee at like 5am because exactly. like I'll have to go back to sleep anyway after that, right? So I'll just like drink a lot of water. Yeah, milk is very important. It's a form of fluid, but it also like keeps you fuller, longer also, I guess. We have a small gift for y'all. I like presents. Mm. Ooh! What? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that so. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, we got milk! It's what Happy said. It will be our fuel for the next three days, right? cereal. Oh, milk! <laughs> Is this all we're eating for the next few days? Alright, it's <laughs> to supplement what you're eating. Oh, okay, I was a bit scared for a second. <laughs> <laughs> for the pre dawn meal, right? Generally, uh, you want to avoid foods that are like, super oily or greasy or even foods that are high in sugar or salt. Yeah, eating slightly healthier in the morning would help. Yeah, probably like more uh, carbs is good. Uh, I think protein is also good. So, in a food pack that we handed you, we have Marigold's UHT Milk with Malt which is high in protein and a good source of calcium and six other vitamins to give you an energy boost and keep you fuller for longer during the fasting month. So cute in the packet. So small, right? <laughs> it's, so, it's so convenient. Quite cute, but I wish it was bigger. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I want to get the big pack to last me for the entire fast. I actually it's prefer so it like this. Eh. Yeah, this what if I break fast outside? Something. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you all ready to try Hafiz's Ramadan diet? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I will try my best. Yeah. Yo, good morning. Today I woke up slightly later than my family has already finished eating. But it's okay because I, I eat quite light in the morning. Hence, I won't take that long. For today's breakfast, or rather pre dawn meal, it will be egg and cheese sandwich, uh, as I mentioned to them. And also, I will be drinking a 33 pack of Marigold milk with malt. Aha! So, this is just something I grabbed uh, last night. Alright, so I'm whispering now because it's so early and everybody's asleep in my house. And for the very first breakfast meal that we're going to be having, which is also known as sahur, I will be having an egg and cheese sandwich because that's what Hafiz said he's going to be eating. So, hopefully this keeps me fueled until... 7 p.m. later on. I've always wanted to try fasting properly, but I guess I never got into it. And the closest I got was intermittent fasting. And now I get to do it. As you can see, it's very dark and it's very early in the morning. Uh, in fact, I barely slept because I was watching football. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna last the whole day uh, without drinking water. I think this is supposed to be some uh, viral TikTok hit or something like that. I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'll probably go back to bed for a while before heading in. Uh, to the office to do some work. I'm a disgrace and I have failed everybody. It is day one and I already overslept. I'm sorry. I guess when I said that the whole waking up at 5 in the morning to eat my pre dawn meal was going to be the greatest challenge, right? I really meant it lah because I couldn't even wake up on the first day. But it was pretty much the first night this week that I managed to get a full 7 hour rest because for the past few days I've been waking up super duper early 
at like 1, 2 in the morning to go for shoots so my body has been exhausted I don't know if this is allowed but I'm going to have to cheat and take my pre-dawn meal now This sandwich is supposed to last me all day I should have used like 3 eggs huh? So I'm actually back home already, I only had to work half a day uh, so I'm going to take the afternoon to nap uh, and skip like some of these daylight hours. I mean, take it easy lah huh, for Thursday. Um, so far I feel okay. Uh, the water and the lack of food hasn't gotten to me too much yet. But I can imagine if like a whole day you're working or if you're outdoors especially, that kind, it would be a lot worse lah. Hi! It is now 2.38 in the afternoon and I have survived the entire morning without food or water. I am super thirsty. I don't know how anybody goes throughout the day without drinking any water. I feel like when I don't drink water, right, my mouth and my throat gets very irritated. I'm trying to just distract myself, so I've been doing my work non-stop. Based on what I found on the internet, Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection, self-improvement, and heightened devotion and worship. And that's why uh, people practice fasting. And Ramadan teaches self-discipline and self-control and sacrifice and empathy for those who are less fortunate. I think it is quite a meaningful practice when you look at it this way. It's about 4 p.m. now in the afternoon and I think because I was busy, I didn't feel like the hunger or the thirst so I was okay but then I just finished like doing my work and everything then I was just like chilling and watching Netflix and I can hear like my tummy grumbling and I was like oh my goodness I'm hungry I guess it's only like 3 more hours ish left so I'm pretty excited to break fast because I'm hungry I was a bit thirsty all's good I hope the rest of them are doing fine too Okay, so I just switched home and I see uh, my mom has prepared some food for tonight's breakfast and yeah, this was what I told the talents, uh, I told them that she was preparing pizza but apart from that, it looks like she also prepared some I'm guessing it's sharp sugar but she separated the egg and the meat and this looks like some sort of soup I hope they'll be having a good breakfast tonight Alright, so it's finally time to breakfast. It's about 7.15 now. I heard that you have to take like milk and dates to like set up the system. But I really really don't like dates. So instead, I'll just be drinking some milk. So today I have the marigold milk with malt. It's my first time trying this milk, so let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, it feels nice to finally drink something. I'm so thirsty. But the taste... It's so yummy. Very nutty. Actually, I went out to do some errands. I think I completely missed the breakfast timing already. Like, it's supposed to be 7 something, but then now it's like almost 8 o'clock. I'm so hungry and I'm so thirsty. I brought along the dates and the milk in a small little box. So I'm gonna break fast with that now. And then this is for my dinner when I get back home later. Went to Peso to get just a couple of slices of pizza. Yes, it smells so good. Alright, so it's finally dinner time. <gasps> Then look what we've got! So Hafiz is going to be eating um, pizza for dinner. So hence, we get to eat pizza too! So here is my dinner and I'm going to go have it, finally. Today I actually have friends over which means that I can break fast with other people. But my friends are having hot pot and I'm supposed to have pizza tonight because Hafiz's mom made pizza. So what I did was to pick up frozen pizza from NTUC. Because everyone's going to eat hot pot, I also kind of want to join in. So I'm gonna text Hafiz. Maybe he'll let me just have some hot pot as well. Hello. Oh my god, hello. Good day. Did I really wait? <laughs> Nonsense, Hafiz. But you know how uh, okay. uh, fasting and Ramadan period is all about uh, Teaching people how to empathize and be kind to others, right? So the thing is, right? Listen, uh, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I'm having dinner with a bunch of my friends, and all of them are actually having hot pot tonight. But I'm the only one who has this one frozen pizza at the table. So my question is, right? Can I also eat the hot pot? <laughs> to be honest, it is up to me. I'm the only one since you made the effort to call me. Yeah, my answer is no. What? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna close my eye and I'm gonna say go for it, Chow. Enjoy. Have a good dinner, man. Thank you, Hafiz. 
So for day two, for my breakfast, I'll be eating cereal. And for the milk, milk with malt. It's slightly different than normal milk. It, uh, there's a slight toasted taste to it, I think. So it tastes good, uh, different than usual. Good morning, you guys. So it's about 5 a.m. in the morning now, and it's time to eat breakfast. The marigold milk with malt, right? It's supposedly like high in protein so it's supposed to like keep you fuller for a longer period of time this actually kind of like helps to maintain your energy throughout the day since mm. you won't be eating with my cereal i'm very particular about the kind of milk that i use but this one actually tastes really good with my cereal as well so jaron and i have been on a shoot for a very long time we started shooting at about one plus hafiz decided to eat cereal today and I actually didn't bring my food, but Gerald brought extra, so... Like, no, actually, it's not extra, like, I'm supposed to eat times two portion because ah. I'm not be hungry. But since you never bring, then sure. Ah. Okay, see, this is the food that we have. It's actually all for me. So, like, got the cereal, yes. got the milk, and then got the fruit. You know Hafiz <laughs> never eat banana today, right? No, he said fruit, right? Oh. Yeah, so cereal and uh, food of your choice. Okay, let's so this eat. this was inside the pack that they gave. Okay, my, my team is basically having lunch over there, and I, I cannot join them. But Ralda is here. So what do you do when you are feeling hungry? I don't really do anything. Huh? So yeah, you, I wait. just keep on doing like whatever I'm doing. Because like, at this point, I think I'm used to it. I'll be hungry, but I'll probably like get over it in like 3 seconds and I'll be like, okay, you know what, I got like other things to do. I need to learn that skill. Alright, so it's about 2pm right now and I'm actually off to my swap test. So as you can tell, I'm a lot more energetic today. I don't know why. Um, Maybe it's the milk, honestly. I'm not as hungry. Actually, I haven't felt hungry yet. I've been feeling so restless, right? And I want to re-energize myself. Sometimes I do that by going for boxing class. So today, I'm going to try to go for boxing class right before breakfast time. So that the moment class ends, I can drink water and I can I can eat again. Lah. Okay, so time check. It's about 6.30pm now and I'm actually... Ah, it's raining. I'm actually on the way to get my dinner So I'm going a bit earlier because I know sometimes places might take a bit more time during fasting month Hafiz is craving Maggi Goreng today with some taping So that's what we're gonna go and get So the thing is, I wasn't really feeling very hungry I'm getting hit by the rain Until like about 5.30 then I kind of felt like my tummy grumble But even then, it's not like to a case where I cannot do this anymore I still can, I'm still great, I'm still energetic I'm just a little bit thirsty but I'm super excited to break fast later. Oh, Gerald, fancy thing! I didn't know you were coming here. Okay, so Gerald and I are at uh, the arena. So we're gonna play futsal from 7 to 8. So, as you know, uh, the breakfast timing is in the middle of our futsal session. So, we brought along uh, some dates and also the marigold milk with malt. So, we're gonna take a short break and breakfast with that later on. And after we are done with our session, we are gonna go for a proper dinner afterwards. I am just done with boxing and I managed to survive my class and I thought that I would be a lot more tired than I actually am. So uh, I was speaking to my coach, Asraf, he's over there. One thing I can tell you is it's actually mostly in the mind. We want to always remind ourselves of the poor people who mm. don't have food for the whole day. Yeah. So it's it's a way to humble you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. what are you breaking fast with today? Uh, just tea for now. I have some food. Kitty cat cup. And then I've got pack of marigold milk. So okay, we're gonna break our fast with the milk first and... Wow, shook. Uh, I think to be honest, this is enough. Maybe I will eat one date later that I brought along. And I think this is enough to... Uh, Last you through under the whole hour. La. Correct, correct. So, we are here for our belated dinner after soccer. Yeah. And uh, as mentioned, uh, Hafiz wanted to eat Maggi Goreng, Ayam, uh, No Tau Gay, and the pink. So bad news, the shop was closed. So I couldn't get any Maggi Goreng. But instead, I decided to make it on my own. It looks nice. It smells nice. Mm, not bad. Also, I didn't get taping on the way because I kind of forgot. Instead, I will be taking a glass of milk, which is the Marigold Malt Milk again, to go with my meal. Feeling energetic actually. Uh, I also have a cup of tapping. Surprisingly, I'm not extremely hungry and 
I don't feel exhausted or tired out. I'm glad that I went to exercise so that I could get moving and do something else instead of just bumming around or like sitting at my desk all day because that's pretty much what I've been doing for the most part lah. Okay, I'm gonna dig in now. This is the first time I am eating a Maggi goreng. <laughs> So this morning I'm going to make the pancakes uh, using marigolds milk with milk and uh, over here I already have uh, whisked one egg and added in uh, some sugar uh, put in less than the recommended amount that the recipe suggested because uh, I feel that the milk has already more flavour than normal milk And yeah, it's going to be my sahur for today Exciting! I'm so tired but I'm going to cook right now Thankfully, my mom gave me a pack of pancakes Sweet. I have to say it smells great and I guess pancakes is a lot of carbs right and carbs also help you to stay full throughout the day. also need a drink to jumpstart my day so I picked up of course my milk with malt. I realised that it just makes me feel a lot fuller. Good morning guys. So it's about 5-ish in the morning. I have some maple syrup here with me. Mm, it's not very sweet. So today I used the marigold milk with malt for this recipe. So yeah, it's nice. I don't know why Harvey has to say pancakes. So oh, fun. I don't I never made pancakes before. I'm pretty sure he has and so I don't know. Okay so the flour make sure I'm gonna add an egg, some oil and then also this uh, the milk that they gave us. It has some like bone plus formula that's supposed to like help increase calcium absorption and then like make your bones stronger. Good for old people like, like me. <laughs> Look at this mess and I burned my first pancake. I finally managed to have one pancake that is not completely burnt. Okay, so time check, it's about 2.30pm now and I have been kind of like into meetings for the past like couple of hours and I'm finally feeling the thirst coming because you know after you talk too much then you need to drink water. So, but um, it's okay, just a couple more hours, I think we can do it. But I'm not feeling hungry at all. I think the pancakes made me really full. Super super full and I am... I'm okay, I'm energetic and everything, but I'm just like parched, like I need water. Okay, so this is what I will be having for breakfast today. As I've told the rest, uh, eating a burger. Uh, breakfast, my dates first. It's about almost there, just a couple more minutes. And okay, see you all. Finally, time to breakfast. And I'm on the way to meet my friends. But before meeting them, I actually got my bubble tea and my McDonald's burger so I can break fast later on. So I also brought along my marigold milk with malt because it's so convenient to just pop it into my bag. Okay, last day, half you said uh, burgers, so I ordered myself some uh, menorna and uh, it's almost 7 30 already, so I'm just gonna break fast with this and uh, some dates. Yes. Hi, it is the last day of fasting and this is what I'm gonna break my fast with today. I think Hafiz is in a celebratory mood, so he decided to like eat burgers. I was thinking about the purpose of uh, why people fast and Ramadan and what it stands for, right? And about caring more for other people and having more empathy and things like that. Just trying to perpetuate good values, right? So one thing that I was trying to do is to be a bit more conscious about my consumption and to not pick a meat burger instead vegetables <laughs> definitely has a lower carbon footprint than than meat lah so here is a vegetarian burger so I'm out with my friends so it's very noisy so I'm just breaking fast real quickly Hello, so I'm back home from dinner. Uh, I hope the rest of them had a good meal, had a good solid or juicy burger for dinner. Reward themselves after three days of following my fasting diet. Aha. Enjoy your sleep everyone. Bye bye. It was fun. It was fun. I liked it. I feel like I learned a bit more about um, Muslims. Learn more about your experience. Even though like three days is not long enough to actually uh, sum up a whole lifetime of this experience. Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember there was this TikTok? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, was yeah. A, <laughs> there was a TikTok Sangi sent over. But how the influencers do this for views? We weren't trying to do that but we were just trying to put ourselves in like your the shoes, shoes lah. Yeah. It's not so much the food, it's more of the water. Mm. Yeah. Right, I mean cause like most of the time, most people have like skipped a meal here and there before but having to skip any liquids for 
what, four, 12 four to 14 hours, right? Mm-hmm. 5 to 7 something, yeah. about maybe yeah. 14 yeah. hours. Yeah. On, I think the last day or something like that, you asked us to make break, uh, make pancakes for breakfast. It takes more time compared to like a sandwich or cereal. I was like, oh, thank you, Afi, so I need to wake up and do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need to spend more time and do this. If you relate that back to like, for example, the homemakers or the family, they will have to prepare meals for the, the whole family, yeah. right? And so early in the morning, so yeah. I can't imagine how tiring that must be. Thank you, Mark, and like, everyone else la, who, who who actually gets up to prepare food for their family. Initially, the first two days, I was like, yeah, five o'clock, that's fine, it's completely fine. On the third day, I literally was like struggling. I was like, no, it's okay, maybe I just don't eat, it's fine. But you have to really just roll out of bed and try to get some food into your system. Fasting shouldn't be an excuse to like not do things normally. La. Yeah, so mm. like hearing that you exercise and they would slept a lot and <laughs> 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 yeah, it's good to hear lah because yeah, it sh- like fasting shouldn't be used as an excuse to just oh. like lay around. I don't know if like it's a good thing, but what I did was basically just keep walking, and then I completely am glued to my computer and at my desk. Yeah, like, it's quite normal on like a working day. I think it's more of the weekends where you really have more time. Then that's when yeah, like, it depends on what you want to do. Like, you just watch shows or just chill. Or... Probably will relax lah because you get. Because there's less things to do yeah. and time somehow passes by more slowly. So like you try to come up with other distractions apart from work. I loved it. To me it was like sweet but not to a point where it's like very gelat. Uh, it has a bit of sugar. Drinking this to like breakfast, wow, damn sugar. Right? It's like oh. almost equivalent, oh, so well, let's say kind of feeling like, you know, like if you be very thirsty or whatever then uh, you go to like a mom store then you drink like dipping. The milk also has a healthier choice label actually and it's because it is higher in calcium. Yeah, and protein. They included more vitamins inside. So for those who usually need to take dietary supplements, right, I think this milk can be your consideration. Not- oh, but if I don't take, then at least good, uh, then got, at least got some vitamins in it. <laughs> we would like to thank Marigold for making this video possible. Stay energized with Marigold's milk with malt, which is high in proteins and nutrients. If you want to get your hands on these, check the link in the description box down below. Thank you for watching this episode of 72 Hour Challenge. If you like this video, check out our other videos right over here. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye.